What we're trying to do is leverage new synthetic DNA technologies to change the way that we can engineer biological systems. It turns out that there are many uh, amazing functionalities or capabilities that living organisms can do, and many of these require uh, you know, a dozen or more genes to be expressed and, and turned on together at the same time. And so what we're trying to do is to really uh, ask more what-if questions of biology instead of merely relying on, on looking at what's out there. Uh, we can rebuild, we can, you know, our ability to, to read DNA has been around for a, a few decades now through DNA sequencing. But there's new technologies coming out now that allow us to write DNA and to write uh, a lot of it for relatively little cost now. Uh, there's a bacterium that can actually mineralize iron that's soluble in the water and form magnetic nanoparticles, much in the same way that, that our bodies would mineralize calcium to make bone material. They can actually make these nanoscopic magnets within their cells and they have incredible control over the size and shape of the crystals that, that they make. Now these crystals are really interesting for their potential application in, in cancer diagnosis where they can serve as, as MRI contrast agents and also as uh, possible therapies where you could conjugate, you can imagine conjugate, conjugating drugs to the outside of these magnetic nanoparticles and using them as, as therapies. For years, we've been looking out to nature for cures for diseases. Uh, it goes all the way back to ancient times. And, and a surprisingly large percentage of the drugs that we use today in anti-cancer chemotherapy are directly derived from nature, from trees in the rainforest or, or you know, organisms that live in the soil in, in your garden. And, and so nature is a tremendous treasure trove of these, of these new drugs and drug-like molecules. I am very motivated to, uh, to be looking for uh, treatments for cancer and, and actually one of the favorite parts of being a part of this fellowship program was going down to New York for the 5k run walk in Yankee Stadium where you got to meet people whose lives are affected by cancer and, and uh, it was really the enthusiasm that they saw so as a, as a Damon Runyon scientist I got to wear the orange shirt that said scientist on the back and uh, so everyone would come up and, and pat you on the back and say you know good work keep it up and that's the type of encouragement that you don't get uh, when you're sitting at a lab bench.